Welcome to my free 10 part Google Ads teaching series called Get Google Ready in 2023. And in this video series, I'm gonna be taking you through not only how to correctly set up every single type of Google Ads campaign that you will need, but also showing you the process of how you go through and optimize these campaigns. And what my hope is, is that throughout this free teaching series is that I can save you money and also help you generate more sales and conversions for your business so that you can see success with Google Ads in 2023. But before I go through and show you how to correctly set up all of the different types of campaigns, and optimize those campaigns, the first important step is that you need to have a basic understanding of how Google Ads works. So in this first video, I wanna break down three core principles that you need to know about Google Ads. Before we get into that teaching though, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've been running profitable and successful Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So everything that I'm gonna be teaching in this series comes not only from a wealth of experience, but also the most up-to-date practices that are working in Google right now. And to help you along the way, I wanna give you a free gift, which is access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this will let you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads campaign every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And to get your access today, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's get into these three core understandings that you need to have about Google Ads. Now, obviously, this is just gonna be a top level understanding. We're not gonna go into all of the intricacies, but to be honest, you don't need to know all of those exact things. You just need to know a basic understanding of these three items. And the first thing you need to understand about Google Ads is that it is auction based. In that, that when a user completes a Google search, Google will quickly run an auction on all of the advertisers that are bidding for that keyword and then display the winning ads. But the good news is, is that this auction is not just based on money. So it doesn't automatically mean that the business with a bigger budget is gonna win. And let me show you what I mean right now. The first part of this, if someone was to complete a search for iPhone 14 case, you see through here, you've got these four ads which appear before you see the official Apple website. And this is what happens in an auction. So you can see once someone completes this search, you can see there was millions, that may even be billions, sorry, I'm not 100% sure of results. And that was all calculated in about half a second. So this auction happens really, really quickly and it takes in all of the different advertisers and all of the different results which are bidding for that search term iPhone case. So we know that's how the search works, but let me now show you how the auction process works from here. And the good news is that in Google Ads, the highest bid does not always win. And the reason for that is because Google uses a formula to calculate the number one position. And this works off the formula of your CPC bid times your quality score, and that equals your ad rank. Now, the reason for why this is so important for Google is because Google as a platform, ultimately they want people to find highly relevant ads and highly relevant landing pages that are related to their search term. Because Google knows that if someone was to search for iPhone cases, and then all of the ads were for Samsung cases or for buying a new phone, and if people started clicking on those ads and it wasn't taking them through to a relevant ad or a relevant landing page to their initial search term that people would lose confidence in the platform and stop clicking on those ads. So that's why as an advertiser, if you've got highly specific ad copies and highly specific landing pages, you can beat the larger advertisers. So with Google Ads, you need to remember it's not like a house auction where the person with the most amount of money wins in that with Google Ads, the auction is based on ad relevance. So a core understanding within Google Ads is that you need to always make sure that your ad copy and your landing landing pages are relevant to the search terms which you are targeting. The second core understanding that you need to have about Google Ads is that yes, Google Ads is based on search. However, your targeting options for Google Ads is not just around keywords. And there's actually four core targeting options that you can have in Google Ads. And this is your keywords, 
your audiences and demographics, your devices, and also the time of the day or the day of the week. And this means that you're able to target people not only on the keyword that they use, but also you're able to target them based on their demographics and interests, also the devices they're using, whether they're completing the search on their mobile phone or computer, and then also based on the time of the day or the day of the week. And this is especially important for if you're running a service-based campaign. Say for example, you're a plumber or an electrician and you only wanna be receiving inquiries at certain times of the day and days of the week. You can target your ads to only appear between six o'clock in the morning through to six o'clock at night from Monday to Friday. And right now, I'm gonna take you through those other options. So I think most people have an understanding of that you can use different keywords to target your ads in Google Ads. So for example, in here, we've got waste skip bins and skip bin hire. So the other area that I wanted to touch on is firstly that you can target your ads by audiences. And what this means is that you can go through and add in some different audiences to your campaigns. And then once you've added in these audiences, you can then come through and review their results. So you can see from here, I've gone through and added in some different bid adjustments where I'm focusing in more budget on the best performing audiences. And the reason why I've done that here is that because these are the ones which are generating the most conversions and I'm happy with their acquisition costs. And what you can also do is you can also go through and add in some extra exclusions. So if you see any audiences which are having a high cost but with no performance, and you can do the same on your demographics based by age, gender, and household income. So for example, in your household income, if you were to see that there's a high level of spend and a high cost per conversion in different areas, you can then, once again, go through and edit the bid adjustments, or if you wanted to, you can even go through and exclude a whole income bracket from that ad group or campaign. And just so you know, this is where Google is getting the data from. If you go to myadcenter.google.com, you can actually see these are the different audiences which Google has about me. And what this is based on, this is based on my previous search history. And you can see through here that I've been doing some searches around about mobile phones. I've just recently changed my mobile phone. I'm also looking at updating my computer. Because it's coming up to the holiday season at the time of recording this video, we've been searching some different flights and also different hotels and resorts to stay at. And then it just continues to go on as we go down the list. So they're the options that you have in your Google campaign is that you can go through and add in these different audience segments so that you're not only now targeting people who complete certain searches, you're also targeting people who are completing searches who have different types of search histories. And then the other thing that you can do is that you can also target this and add in those bid adjustments or exclusions based around mobile phones, computers, or tablets. And now this brings us to the third and final concept that I want you to understand before you go through and start setting up your Google Ads campaigns. And this has to do with Google Ads bidding strategies. And in Google Ads, there's two core bidding strategies that you can use. And this is maximize conversions and maximize conversion value. Let's be honest, you're running Google Ads for one reason, and that is to increase the revenue that your business is receiving. And that can be through generating extra inquiries or through generating direct sales to your website. And Google Ads does have some built-in automated strategies where what it will do is it'll either increase or decrease the bid, depending on the data that Google has, not only for the data on your niece, your business niece, but also the data that Google has on your individual Google Ads account and campaigns. And if you're using a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding strategy, Google will automatically increase the bids and the spend if it feels that a certain user completing that search term is more likely to convert. So for example, if you're running a Google Ads campaign for your home moving service. And there's one searcher and we'll call him Dave and he completes that Google search for home moving service. But before he's completed that search, over the previous two to three weeks, Google has noticed that Dave has not only been completing that search, but he's also been searching for new homes to buy in your location. He's also been searching for mortgage brokers in that location and also looking at different storage sheds and storage facilities in your targeted location. And then there's another user and we'll call her Sarah and she's completed the same search. 
for home moving service, but that is the first search that she has completed for that service or any related services. And in that situation, if you were using a maximized conversions bidding strategy, Google would bid a lot higher for Dave's search as opposed to Sarah's search. And the reason for that is that Google deems that it's more likely that Dave will finish that conversion action. Now, I do need to stress that that is a very, very simple explanation and there's a lot more factors in play, but that is the core concept of how an automated bidding strategy works in Google Ads. Now, whether you need to use maximize conversions or maximize conversion value, once again, there's a lot of different factors that you should factor in and assess before you lock that in. But as a general rule, if you're a service-based industry, you would mainly be using maximize conversions. And if you're an e-commerce business, you would generally use the maximize conversion value bidding setting. And when it comes to setting either a maximize conversion or a maximize conversion value, I always give the general rule that you want to be waiting to, you've at least had about 30 conversions. And the reason for that is because you want to help Google get that initial data so that it knows the right type of people and the right type of searches which are more likely to convert for your business. So now that you have that core understanding of how Google Ads works, so we went through the Google Ads auction process, we also went through the four different targeting options that you have in Google Ads, and then we had a quick explanation of how Google's bidding strategies work. So now that you have an understanding of those concepts, you're ready to go through and watch the rest of my Get Google Ready in 2023 playlist. And to do that, all you need to do is to go through and watch this playlist right here. See ya.